Our presenter for science and research is a successful actress and mother of three children. She heard, uh, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas so often, she decided to go out and get a white uniform. So back to school she went and earned her diploma and became registered nurse Catherine Crosby. As a registered nurse and a mother, I have a particular interest in medical problems of infants. Our Woman of the Year in Science and Research is a physician and a medical researcher whose work in the field of birth defects has won her international acclaim, Dr. Virginia Apgar. Dr. Apgar is the creator of the Apgar Score, a clinical evaluation made within 60 seconds of birth that determines the baby's overall condition and chances for survival. The APGAR score is standard procedure in virtually every country in the world. As Vice President for Medical Affairs for March of Downs, she oversees grants of $5 million a year for research, medical services, and education in the cause and prevention of birth defects. Currently, she is at Johns Hopkins Moore Clinic doing research in genetics. Infants have found the world a better and less painful place to live because of Dr. Virginia Apgar. Once, once when Dr. Apgar was asked if she had encountered sexual discrimination in medical school, she said, never. You just have to be twice as smart as the men in your class. That's all. Dr. Virginia Apgar, the woman of the year in science and research. I have just 20 seconds to do my thing. <laughs> There's plenty of room in medicine and science for women. I hope it's it's just waiting for women to come. There are only two reasons I'm here right now. One is if you really count them up, there's seven of eight of us have our names in the first half of the alphabet. Now this is statistically significant. <laughs> the other reason is I'm quite sure the two million and a half volunteers for the March of Dimes have all been ordered to, to vote for me. <laughs> I'd just like to mention five people of my teachers who have been and continue to inspire me every day. One is Marielle Kays in Westfield High School Mathematics 100 years ago, well not quite. Um, <laughs> Two at Mount Holyoke, Dr. Christiana Smith and Dr. Madeline P. Grant. Two at Johns Hopkins, Dr. Maggie Merrill, and a man, Dr. Victor McCusick. I thank them and thank you.